Oi, 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 can you see me? Oi. I need to work out Reese's mad torch. Hello, humans. My name is Dale Kingsmill. This is gonna be the worst. All right, I was gonna do a quests and adventure Q&A today, um, and then I got to the perfect spot to film, and it was all great, and, uh, and as it turns out, as it turns out, I uh, had forgotten my SD card. Those are kind of important. Okay, so, okay, um, be quiet just for a second. All right, Sting. Um, so I asked all the questions, I went and I got my hair done, I'm ready to film the Q&A, and now here we are. Um, I, I forgot to bring an SD card for my camera. So now, the sun is setting. Like, I'm gonna have to chase the sun to the other side of the escarpment, to the other side of the mountains. I'm gonna swap the camera around and hopefully you can see it. But that's what's happening. That's what we're dealing with. We're, we're trying to... I have to run over there to beat the sun as it's disappearing behind the... Oh, look! There goes that guy! Thanks, dude, who parked in exactly the place I needed for my view for 10 minutes and then left. Why? What was your problem? So now here we are, and it's night time, and I tried to get to a specific spot that's a really pretty lookout of the whole city at night with all the twinkly twinkly streetlights on, um, and I couldn't quite get there, and then I found myself, I mean look, I went up the mountain, I went down the mountain, I went up the mountain again, I uh, misjudged how much space I had to do a three point turn, that was a fun part. Look. It puts the adventure in quests and adventures. Let's just put it that way. Kind of wound up on a weird little uh, side street and there's a cliff behind me and a view of the city. So let's do this. You sent me your questions. I'm going to answer them. It's just Dale on a deserted country road on a cliff at night time. There's a lot of stars, it's really pretty, you guys. GR, will you do a video of nothing but you and Omar Najam reading your tweet threads and acting out our Twitter interjections? Um, I would love to do that because it's the most fun in the world, arguing with Omar about ridiculous things. And we do it all the time. Anyone who doesn't follow me on Twitter, uh, that's a regular occurrence. We have wars over pie, it's a whole thing. I would also love to do some dramatic reenactments of some specific uh, conversations we've had and stories we've told outside of Twitter, just in uh, private messaging. Um, my favorites include his talking about spiders and me talking about lizards. What lesson from mythology do you try to apply in your daily life? Um, to keep it simple, um, probably the lesson that just because someone is powerful or because someone is painted as a hero, it doesn't necessarily make them right or good. How many shelves full of mythology books do you have? Bonus points for picks. I think I've only technically got one, but I think it is the full shelf. Shannon, why do you smell like a butt? Uh, this is my sister, Shannon. She was homesick today, so I'm, I'm so glad that she was feeling well enough to come onto Twitter and uh, get into the middle of my questions that I was requesting to, to tell me that I smell like a butt. This is siblinghood, everyone. Whoa, 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 GR is stirring trouble telling Shannon that she's my second favorite sister, Rowan is my first favorite sister. Lies. Lies. Don't listen to him, sisters. Don't listen to him. Reese is my favorite sister. Which Scooby character do you relate to most? And while I'm at it, would you have Omar in your Scooby gang? I would let Omar be in my Scooby gang. Who would I be though? Can you see my foggy breath? Probably not. Damn this lighting. I would be, uh, I found out the other day, I did an escape room for the first time and I discovered that I would be Daphne because I spent the whole time like kind of helping to solve puzzles but everyone else was like in it. I was just, there was a, a fake body in the middle of the room and I was too grossed out to touch it. I was like, mm, I don't want to touch things. I'm just gonna stand over here. This torch that you can't see by the way, I borrowed it from my brother just before coming out here and it's kind of like a lightsaber, but it also twists into a gun. It's like the weirdest torch I've ever seen. Dealing with winter in Oz. Thank you for that statement question from Blair. And the follow-up question, how cold does it get over there? Like, how cold was it uh, in the coldest day of winter last year? I don't think it's fair for JP to be saying that, because he lives in basically uh, the North Pole. He is Santa Claus. Plot twist, conspiracy theory, JP is Santa Claus. Disprove it, JP. Disprove it. You can't, can you? Uh, Winter in Oz. I hate it. I like summer. But also, I mean, I suppose I can't complain because here I am, I'm sitting outdoors at night uh, in winter on like a mountainside and I've got 
just like a baseball shirt and a jacket on, a denim jacket. So, I mean, ultimately it's not that cold. It gets cold in places, but where I am, I complain a lot at 8 degrees Celsius. Let's put it that way. I complain a lot at 12 degrees Celsius and at 15 degrees Celsius though, because I'm me. I wish, I really wish that you guys could see this view properly. It's so gorgeous. Ah, it's just, it's just not showing up on the camera. What's your favorite adventure game? I think the title is always gonna go to Assassin's Creed 2, which is just, I just love it so much. But uh, close runner-ups are probably Portal 2 and uh, Halo, the first Halo game, Combat Evolved. They all made big impacts on me, but I think Assassin's Creed 2 was the first video game that I truly, truly just fell head over heels in love with. What's your favorite paper and pencil RPG? And if it's D&D, what's your second favorite? I'm going to say Fate. I'm a big fan of Fate and the way that it, um, that you can just kind of come up with stuff on the fly without a lot of prep and uh, you can apply it to so many different genres. I've been holding this microphone to my face and as it turns out, it died a while ago. Right side, I can wield the torch. I can't believe that you can't see the light. So disappointing you can't see how pretty it is. Rapid fire! Oh shoot! Uh, favorite non-primary color? Green. Green's my favorite color anyway, so that... Hey, how full are your bookshelves? Very full. Um, initially, when I first... Ooh, jeez. When I first got the really big bookshelf in my bedroom, um, I thought that I wasn't going to be able to fill it up with just books that I owned, so I took books that I used a lot from the living room and filled it up with those. And then a bunch of years of studying a literature degree uh, proved that that was a silly thought, and so I had to suddenly um, pull everything out of my bookshelf in order to make room for just the books that I owned, and now it's getting really full again. Favorite mythological character? Easy as Perseus. Perseus. Ah. He's like the only good guy. He's the only genuinely like good guy hero in Greek mythology. Am I even pointing this at my face? Oh, I am the moon. If you could be any hero from any mythology, who would you pick? Perseus. <laughs> I seem to remember seeing your name as Dale Campbell once or twice. Is there a story behind the name Kingsmill? Um, yeah, so uh, for people who don't know, uh, Dale Kingsmill is my professional name. It's my, uh, my name that I act under and stuff. Kingsmill I don't know if I'd call it like a story, I don't know if it's a story behind it, but Kingsmill is my mother's mother's maiden name. So it is my maternal grandmother's maiden name. I really loved that, the idea of, of like following back along the female line and sort of taking a stand there because ultimately I have as much Kingsmill blood in me as I do Campbell. So yeah, there you go. Have you watched Black Sails, It's Gay, and the writers are not cowards? I haven't watched it, I don't know what you're talking about, but with that description, Sounds great. What would you take with you into the Minotaur maze besides the golden thread? I mean, if I'm me now and have like unlimited options, I would take like a machine gun. Sorry, Asterion, I know it's not your fault that you're a crazed uh, man-eating monster living in a maze, but like, you are though, so I mean, it's, yeah, it's a reason. It's not an excuse. I'm still gonna shoot you with my machine gun. Well, this has been weird. Uh, thanks for following along. Hopefully the video turns out alright. I'm so bummed that you can't see how gorgeous this is behind me. Because it's really, it's just a sea of lights and like the silhouettes of gum trees, of twisty gum trees behind me. Anyway, I suppose that that's it. I'm done. Thank you for your questions. Uh, you can follow me on social media in the event that I do another one of these videos, which I'm sure I will. Questing and adventuring is fun. Uh, apart from that, I. I'm just saying the thing again. Email this to your grandma and I will see you some other time. Oh, this is gonna have no effect because you can't even see what's out behind me, but here you go. There's the end of the bloody. You can't see this. It's so gorgeous. Ridiculous. How do I turn this off?